Hey everyone, just a quick intro for this video. I just wanted to say that, hi, yes, I'm filming a desk tour. A lot of people have asked for this, so I'm so excited to be giving it to you guys today. So my desk is from Ikea. I will try to leave it linked in my description. And hopefully you can get some tips from this video on how you can store your stationery and stuff like that. But yeah, so here it is. Hope you enjoy. Bye. <laughs> okay, so here is my desk area. So this desk is from Ikea, so it has like enough space for two people to sit and it has the drawers. The chairs are also from Ikea, but I don't recommend them. They're so not comfortable if you're going to sit in the chair for ages. They're fine to sit on for like 10 minutes, but no longer than that. <laughs> so first I have this trolley thing. This is from Ikea. It was like $30 or something. And this is where I keep all of my journals. I just like to have them all here. If you're interested in the journals that I have, I will leave my video that I did linked here where I talk about all my different journals. So yeah, I have all my journals here. I have my BTS binder. Yeah, that's pretty much it. These are my current journals, all journals that I need to finish. And then on this shelf, I have finished journals. So this is my 2019 life journal that is finished. Um, so yeah, finished journals as well as spare notebooks. So these are all like unused notebooks. And then in this pencil case, I just have some random pens. And then down here, I just have like the mic that I use for the voiceovers and some headphones and some other tech stuff. So this wall is one of my favorite things to look at. And I just love sitting here and journaling while being around amazing art. So yeah, basically this is a collection of a lot of art pieces that I have gotten over the years. We have like Kiki's Delivery Service. I have a lot of art prints from this artist. I'll leave their Instagram handle here. I love them. Some of the art I've got from book subscription boxes. This is when I met the voice of Squidward. <laughs> this is by Vicky Sai. This is by my friend Mia, Mia Kamani on Instagram. Yes, yeah, so just a lot of amazing art and some sneaky BTS photos. Then I have this pin flag where I have just a few pins. And then I put the little GG keychain that I have here. And then there's actually this shelf on top of the desk. So here I just have all of my BTS albums and a little RM Funko Pop. Okay, so moving on to the actual desk, this is what it looks like. So here I just have this little black corkboard thing where I just obviously have some random photos and stuff. Here I have these acrylic drawers, but I actually don't love them because I got them like five years ago or something and I don't like how they're not completely transparent. I want to get acrylic drawers that are like completely transparent, you know, but they're still good for now. So they're from Officeworks if you're interested. And on top I just have my Google Wi-Fi, which is like a Wi-Fi extender. I have this BT21 Halloween Koya cup and in it I just have my BT21 pens and my remote for my CD player which I'll talk about in a second. Behind that I have this box and in this box I have heaps of different cards and stuff that are mostly from art box when I went to Korea. So yeah, a lot of envelope and letter sets. I absolutely love them and whenever I want to write someone a letter I use one of these or I even use these in my journals. I really love this box. So yeah, that goes there. And then in these drawers, the first drawer, ow, did you hear that? <laughs> the first drawer, oh my gosh, that is not possible. The first drawer, I have these stamps and some ink pads, but I actually need to get some more ink pads because these aren't opaque enough for me. But anyway, so yeah, I have some stamps in there. Then the next drawer has a lot of my notepads. I like to use these in my journals and stuff. Oh my goodness. That was folded. So yeah, a lot of cool notepads in here. You may recognize some because I've definitely included them in stationery hauls and journal spreads and stuff. The next drawer, I have these Faber-Castell textures. I have some other notepads. These are like larger ones, glue sticks, my Kyokyo dot liner glue tape thing. I have um, a wax seal. Then here I have my sticky pads. So I have a black one, which I really love. I just have, you know, some basic ones some more interesting ones. Yeah, so just all of my sticky pads go in here. And then in the last drawer, this is really messy and I wanna find a better way to do this, but this is just for now. So I just have like spare pieces of paper that I use in my journal. So like, you know, just this random piece of paper, like just random pieces that I can use in my journals or like scraps of paper, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so next to these drawers, I have this like clear acrylic stand that I got from Officeworks. And on top, I have a few acrylic organizers that I also got from Officeworks. So basically in the front, I just have some postcards. These are like Studio Ghibli postcards. So I thought I'll just put them here because, oh, look at that one. Maybe I should put this in front. <laughs> yeah, because they're just so stunning and it's nice to have them on display. And then behind that in these organizers, I have my mild liners. I have some random pens as well as my white gel pens and like my silver and gold ones and stuff. Behind that, I have some jelly roll pens. Then I have some random pens here. I have my business cards. So next to that, I have this wax seal set.
set, I have this little thing of heaps of, um, oh my gosh, I forgot they're called. They're not paper clips, but, you know, clips. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have that. And then on top, I just have this thing of some washi tape. And then here, I just have some notebooks. These are like my Korean notebooks. So I use these notebooks to study Korean. And then below here, I just have a few things. So I'll show you inside this. So I think I got this from Astronaut, which I might as well say now, I also got this CD player from Astronaut, but there is an Amazon equivalent, so I'll also link that below. But yeah, this CD player is really cool because, oh gosh, <laughs> you can actually like wall mount it or have it like this and stuff like that. And then you control it with the remote. But anyway, so yeah, this is from Astronaut, I think. And this is basically just like an organizer. So in here, I just have this random envelope of stickers. It comes with this ruler, which I always use. I just have some washi tape. These are where I store my stickers too. They like fit perfectly. These are like the ones from Paper Feet Co. I have some more washi tape samples, more stickers, more stickers, more stickers. <laughs> more stickers. And then it also has this, which is like the little zip thing. It's really cool and it's a good way to store, you know, these sticker pages. So it's really freaking full. <laughs> and then I also have these two sticker books and I showed these in a stationery haul. So I think they're from Yes Style. So they're really cool because. I put my stickers here and I can just obviously peel them off. But you have to just know that it only really works if the stickers are super sticky because as you can see it's like sort of coming off. So I only put it on now if like it's a really strong super sticky sticker. <laughs> so then I also just have this mini one. So like these stickers are really sticky so it works well with this. So it's really nice to be able to see all the stickers like that though. And then I also have this which I also showed in that haul and it's basically just like this iPad case slash pencil case thing. And I just keep all of my uni Posca pens and stuff. And then the last thing I have under here is just this book. So someone actually sent this to me in my PO box. And it's basically just like this cute little mini bullet journal notepad thing. And I actually use this to, um, you know, I have all my mind liners so I can see like what the colors all look like. So I write down all the names and everything. So when I want to see the exact color I want, I just go to this and then I'll be like, okay, I need to get this one. So I just have some of my markers that I own and I have like the brush pens, my Faber Castell textures. Yeah. Okay, so that's that section. So now moving on, I got these clear acrylic mini drawers from Daiso. And on top, I just have this cookie pencil case. I have my familiar printers, of course. Which, by the way, I actually like this one better. This one is more expensive, but I actually prefer this one. I'll have them linked in my description, of course, but I literally always use the Fememo printer. The good thing about this one is that you can print different sticker sizes, but I just feel like I usually just use the one size anyway. And I actually find that this one is better quality for some reason, even though this one is supposed to be better quality. Anyway, I love the Fememo printer, so I keep that on top there. So in the top drawer, I just have some washi tapes. In the next drawer, I have some stickers. So these are random sticker packs that I've gotten from various places. You know, I've Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, Kiki's Delivery Service, Sailor Moon, lots of cool stickers. Then the next drawer, I have more stickers, of course, and I have some book printouts because I use this for my reading journal. Yeah, so just other random sticker packs. And actually, a tip I have. So I think this sticker pack came in one of those, like, small boxes, and I find that really hard to get the stickers out. So I actually just use this, which is an Ultra Pro card sleeve, and I just put the stickers in there and then just use some washi tape to seal it and I just like it better because then I can also see the stickers easier and stuff like that and that is a way for me to section off so obviously this is one sticker pack this is another one so yeah then I have my Sigma Micron pens which I absolutely love I have a little blade on top I have some sticky tabs some rubbers a pencil sharpener and then in here I have some red bubble stickers and if you know me you know I love red bubble stickers so I have a lot so I literally have them organized <laughs> So in this drawer, I have stickers. So first we have some film and TV stickers, and then I have gaming stickers. And then the last drawer, I have more Redbubble stickers. Once again, they're sectioned. So I have BTS stickers. Then I have book stickers. And finally, I just have some random stickers. Okay, so then, yeah, my CD player, which I already talked about. I'll just quickly show you. It's really cool when you turn it on. 
and it like spins like that and I love how you can display the cover art of the CDs so then moving on to here here I just have this pencil case this was from yes style so in this pencil case I have my Tombow twin tone markers then in this I have my Tombow dual brush pens which by the way I actually heard that it's not good to store your pens upright like this so when I move out and have a new setup I'm planning to store all my pens horizontally so I don't actually recommend storing it like this because apparently it dries out the pen quicker so then I have this this candle I usually have a candle here because you know I like to have a candle on while I journal and then here I have all my washi tapes so I really love this I actually recently set this whole thing up I had a different system before but then I just got so many washi tapes and I needed to have a better system so this is basically an acrylic nail rack that I got off eBay so it's really good to just store your washi tapes and I've sort of tried to organize them so I have like you know these are mostly paper geek co ones which is like just my favorite you know I've tried to organize them I don't know if you can tell <laughs> it's so nice to just be able to to easily see all my washi tapes like this. Then I just have this lamp, this boring lamp that I got from Kmart or something. And I'm not going to show you this whole bookshelf. I have like a bookshelf here, but I will just show you this because this is where I keep my Canon Selfie CP1300 printer. And this is the printer that I use for a lot of my photos. It's really good because it's really good quality. It has a good app so you can just easily print photos from your phone. And yeah, so I absolutely love this printer. I definitely recommend it. So now I'm actually going to show you quickly under the desk because under the desk I have a few boxes. I'm not going to show you the black one because there's not really anything interesting in there but these two white boxes I got these from Ikea and so I basically store like craft paper and just other random paper that I can use in my journals so in this I have brown and black paper so yeah as you can see I just have a lot of like paper bags and stuff and just you know a lot of paper I can use and then in this box I have crepe paper so when I get orders and stuff online a lot of the time it comes with some crepe paper so I just store it in this box because it's nice to be able to use it in my journals or for wrapping and stuff like that okay so now i'm going to show you inside my drawers so in the first drawer it's sort of organized but also not as organized as i would like so when i have the new setup in the new place it's going to be way better <laughs> but anyway basically i have some color pencils in this organizer thing that i think i got from office works you know i have random stuff here like scissors nail polish that i sometimes use in my spreads paper clips more paper clips and a lot of these like trays are just really random things like this is the box that comes when you get an Archer and Olive notebook I like to use that for organization and stuff like that then in the second drawer I have a lot more stickers and stuff like that so this is where I also store my card sleeves and top loaders and then in this box I have some BTS photos in here more BTS photos I have some printouts that I have printed out using my home printer that I'm planning to use in spreads I have a lot of random stuff in here that I'm planning to to put in spreads and then here I have some more sticker packs and then there's this which has more stickers of course <laughs> I have so many stickers there's even more stickers in here more stickers more stickers <gasps> and then you can take this out and there's even more stickers underneath <laughs> these ones were too big to like fit in there but then behind there I have some cards that I got from Korea so I'm planning to use those you know to give to people I have gift tags and little gift bags and stuff like that most of those are from Artbox okay this is the final drawer that I'm going to show because the bottom two just have random stuff in it in here I have my J Burroughs paper cutter is that what it's called it's so you can like easily get a straight line I have these random jewels I also have this two pocket file and in here I basically keep you know spare black pieces of paper I have these random cutouts that I was planning to use you know some more just random pieces of paper and more brown paper even though I have like that white box I like to also have this just so it's easier to access then I have this black sketchbook and this is basically just a sketchbook plain sketchbook filled with black pages and I basically like to rip these out to use in my journals that's what I use to get black pieces of paper then I have this this is a box that came when live love polish sent me some of the nail polishes and it was such a good box so I kept it and I basically like to keep pieces of paper in here then I have my transparent papers some random notebooks I like to use this random notebook that I got years ago to rip out pieces of paper to use in my journal I have some random pieces of colored paper and some plastic sleeves and stuff like that and then at the back I have some backups of things so I have some backup pens jelly roll pens my favorite paper mate ink joy gel pens and yeah so that is my desk I hope you enjoyed this tour I'll try to leave as much as I can linked in the description and yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you're having a good day or night and I'll see you in my next video